Hello, church family. We talked last Wednesday night about some protocols that we are instituting to return to phase one. We are going to make another adjustment for tomorrow, August 23rd. Because of the lack of staffing for children's ministries, we are going to have to, unfortunately, suspend our kids' ministries for the time being. That means there will be no child care for the Sunday school hour, 945, no Sunday school classes for the kids, uh, the teen ministry, uh, the singles ministry, home builders class, all of those will be suspended from now uh, through the end of October. Hate to do it, but we feel that it's best across the board at this time. Our normal Sunday morning service, we will have child care for zero to two years of age, uh, but there will be no children's ministry during that time. For Sunday night and Wednesday night, nothing is changing. Thank the Lord. We're going to be together as a church family on uh, Sunday nights and Wednesday nights. I want to remind you as well that for those that were not there Wednesday, we do have some protocols set up. We are returning to phase one in that we are social distancing. Uh, we are sitting together as a family. The doors will be propped open. We're also adding uh, disinfectant. Uh, we're going to be disinfecting after each service. Uh, spraying down the hard surfaces with uh, a substance that's known to kill the virus, uh, doing our best to keep our church family safe. Uh, again, we are implementing these things because I feel it's what's best for uh, the safety and the unity of our church family. Ladies, one final thing, if you are working, if you are bringing children to the nursery, the, the nursery director may ask you to assist uh, depending on how many are in there working. Uh, that'll help us keep the nurseries opening. Let me remind you that we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. I believe that this could be the best hour for Hope Baptist Church. Not based on uh, what we want, or based on uh, how we feel about it, but based on what the Lord is doing in our hearts. Let me encourage you to uh, stay focused on Him. Let's pull together, let's pray for one another, and let's let the Lord work as He sees fit. God bless.